Well, the first round of the impeachment hearings are over. It's not the end. Uh, they're going to come back after Thanksgiving and do it again. But let me ask you, do you believe in innocent until proven guilty? Because the president is innocent until proven guilty. This is like a racist cop pulling a black man over on the way to work. Pulls him over, charges him with a crime, has no evidence. Charged him with Russian collusion, no evidence. Pulled him over, hit him with obstruction, no evidence. Now he's pulling him over, claiming that he's got him on something to do with the Ukraine. Guess what? There was no evidence on Russian collusion, there was no evidence on obstruction, and there's no evidence on this whole Ukrainian thing. The president is innocent until proven guilty. This is why there's so many innocent black men in prison. Democrats do this. They, You show me the man, I'll find you the crime. The Democrats are just trying to destroy Trump because they can't beat him at the ballot box. And that is immoral. That is the real threat to our democracy. Um, if you look at the Constitution, it says that you cannot be charged with the same crime twice. The intention of that is you can't just keep prosecuting someone you don't like. You can't keep prosecuting an innocent person until you convict them. The Democrats are violating the theory behind the Constitution, the idea that you can just keep prosecuting and prosecuting and prosecuting until you get a conviction. That's exactly what they're trying to do with Donald Trump. This is the reason so many innocent black people are in prison. And I, I, and I, I say this, I, I needed to see uh, a white man be the victim of racism, of bigotry, and of bias in order to get it. And when I see what they're doing to Donald Trump, I now see what they've done to hundreds of thousands of innocent African Americans here in the United States. They just keep prosecuting them and prosecute them. Donald Trump is guilty of being president while Trump. It's like driving while black. They just keep pulling you over and search you, pull you over and search you, stop and frisk you. They keep going until they find something to convict you on. And that's what this whole impeachment thing is. Remember, the Democrats used a, well, it's called the Steele dossier. It was a British spy Hillary hired to investigate Trump. She came up with a ton of dirt, and that was a foreign source used against her political enemy. The Ukraine used uh, a Democrat in the State Department to dig up dirt on Paul Manafort as soon as Paul Manafort became uh, Donald Trump's campaign manager. What was Paul Manafort's crime? He normally wins. He win. He won in the Ukraine 10, 15 years ago. He made a bunch of money. He didn't report it to the IRS. They dug into Paul Manafort. I think they had help with the IRS, which is also illegal. And they got Paul Manafort fired, which was supposed to hurt and did hurt the Trump campaign. Um, then you have the Ukrainians coming out against the president. The president wanted to look into what happened to the Ukraine, why the Ukrainian, why the State Department in the Ukraine uh, investigated his campaign manager and eventually had the guy fired. That was foreign interference. In addition, when you heard that the Russians uh, interfered in the election and hacked Hillary's um, server, I don't believe that to be true. Who hacked the DNC server? I believe it was a guy named Seth Ridge. He was a Bernie Sanders supporter, saw that Hillary Clinton stole the DNC nomination from its rightful winner, which was Bernie Sanders. He put it onto a thumb drive, and he mailed it to WikiLeaks. Next thing you know, boom, he caught one to the head as WikiLeaks was verifying the information, which was the tip-off there was a leak. Now... Instead of giving the, the server to the FBI, who asked for it, the Democratic National Committee refused to do that. They gave it to CrowdStrike, a Ukrainian company. That Ukrainian company took the server God knows where. Nobody knows where it is. That's another thing Trump was looking into. You have this whole Russian collusion thing, which, by the way, is a pathway to war. The Ukrainians, or some people in the Ukraine, and some people in the Democratic Party, are pushing us to war with Russia, a country that has seven, seven thousand nuclear weapons, most of them on Scud missile launchers. We couldn't get all the Scuds in a treeless desert in southern Iraq in which we had total air superiority. We are not going to get all the Scud missile launchers out of Siberia, a heavily wooded area, twice the size of the United States. So the Democrats 
have been pushing us in a path towards World War III and with no evidence. You, you remember uh, Gulf War II? We invaded Iraq because the CIA said that there was evidence of weapons of mass destruction. We invaded. There were no evidence of mass destruction. Turns out Saddam Hussein was bluffing. Now we are being pushed towards war with Russia in an environment where the CIA says that the Russians did it. Well, no. Actually, CrowdStrike, a Ukrainian company, said the Russians did it. The media says that the uh, CIA and the FBI says that the Russians did it. I've reached out to the FBI, the CIA. I've called the Department of Justice. They can provide no evidence. They just issued a letter. There is no evidence in Congress. I've seen no evidence that the Russians did it. The evidence theoretically, is on the server, which I believe was hacked by an American called Seth Rich, who was pissed off at Hillary for stealing the nomination from Bernie Sanders. And they framed the Russians for it because it was bad for Donald Trump. And if that risks World War III, so what? Hillary is so bitter, and the Democrats are so partisan. They're, they're partisan. I, I, I like the way um, uh, Miss Hill kept saying it, partisan. Um, yeah, the Democrats are partisan. This is a partisan lynching and they're trying to destroy Donald Trump regardless because they're afraid that they're going to lose the election. And let's think of what happens if you do manage to lynch, assassinate, or remove Donald Trump. The stock market is up seven sorry, the stock market is up eleven trillion dollars because of his tax policies and because of his trade policies. If you get rid of Trump, let's say something realistic happens. The stock market resets to its pre-Trump levels. That would wipe out $11 trillion in American wealth. Your 401k, your retirement fund, goes back to where it was uh, before the 2016 election night. There are 6 million Americans that have jobs because of Trump's taxes and trade policy. More than one million of them are black. So one million brothers get the pink slip. Another six million people, six total, will lose their jobs. You're looking at another great recession. Huh, let me think about it. Would you rather get rid of Trump or send our jobs back to China? Because who wins in this thing? The Chinese win in this thing. Who's behind all this money to get Donald Trump? It's got to be the Chinese, or the Chinese should be a major player in this. I mean, we have to start looking at Chinese collusion. Who's framing the Russians? Probably the Chinese. Who's dying to spend all this money to get rid of Trump? Chinese, because this is the Chinese are basically in a recession because of Donald Trump's trade policies. Who's buying all those ads on CNN and MSNBC? Probably Chinese companies or companies that do manufacturing in Chinese that are getting pressure from the Chinese to get rid of Trump. This is a Chinese warper. This is Chinese interference in the United States. This whole impeachment thing is Chinese interference in our election. This is not Russian collusion. This is Chinese collusion. And the attempt, when you listen to every one of those witnesses in this impeachment process, they all were obstructing Donald Trump's attempt to to investigate the interference in his election in 2016, and they are all covering, they are all obstructing justice to protect Joe Biden. Biden's kid makes $83,000 a month from a corrupt natural gas company. Another thing they're not telling you, as soon as Biden's kid gets the job, the State Department under Obama tells the Ukraine to up their natural gas production. That means more profits for the Ukrainian oil company. Once the prosecutor that's fired, that once Biden daddy gets the son's prosecutor fired, the kid gets a $3 million bonus. If that's not bribery, I don't know what is. In addition, Biden's kid is in bed with the Chinese. He went, he tested positive for coke, got kicked out of the military, got on Air Force Two, goes over to China, he'd formed a uh, investment corporation. The Chinese gave him $1.5 billion because he's a cokehead and he's the vice president's cokehead son. Then he takes the $1.5 billion and he begins to invest in military defense 
companies, American companies that we spent tens and hundreds of billions of dollars to develop the technology. Hunter Biden takes Chinese money, he walks in, he buys the company, and gives the technology to the Chinese. Why would they be approved? Why would they use Biden's kid as a front man? Because if the Chinese came up and tried to buy those military defense technology companies to straight up, they'd get denied because it's not in America, America's military interest to spend hundreds of billions of dollars to develop this amazing technology and then sell it to the Chinese on the cheap. But if Biden's kid buys it, now you're in the, now you're in the Pentagon. Do you approve the sale or not? Hmm. Well, it's the vice president's kid. I have to approve it. I, if I don't, Biden's going to be on my rear end. The State Department has to approve it. So you have John Kerry. By the way, John Kerry's kid was in on it. So you have Biden's kid. You have the Secretary of State's kid uh, in on these deals. The Chinese are funneling money in, and they're just ripping us off with our military technology because why? They've hired Biden's kid. They've hired, they hired Secretary of State John Kerry's stepson. And Shazam, guess what? They can come in and buy our military technology on the cheap. They don't have to do the R&D. They wait till it's perfected. They come in, they buy it, they, and they take that technology back to China. That is treason. Biden has committed treason with the Chinese. John Kerry and his kid committed treason because they took Chinese money to buy American defense contractors and give the technology to the Chinese. That's being covered up. Who's not reporting it? CNN, the Chinese news network. Who's not reporting it? MSNBC. Oh, there's a lot of ads for companies that make things in China. They're opposed to Trump's uh, trade war with China. They're also supporting and covering up the fact that the Bidens and the Kerrys came in and sold our technology companies, our military technology companies, to the Chinese. Those are another. Those are a lot of things that are not being covered. Hmm. Why? We got to get rid of Trump and give this country back to the Chinese, the people who pay CNN's advertising bills, because nobody advertises on CNN because it's effective. It's strictly a propaganda machine. You're watching my president, Trump.us. The president is innocent until proven guilty, and they have not proven him guilty. This is a Chinese collusion plot to frame the Russians and to destroy Donald Trump to get out of these tariffs that Donald Trump, that I voted for. I wanted Donald Trump as my president since the 1980s. The first time I seen him on Oprah explaining how the, the Japanese were taking advantage of us and how the Chinese were taking advantage of us. I've never wanted anyone to be my president more than I wanted Donald Trump to be my president. And I stand with Donald Trump. He is innocent until proven guilty. He has created 6 million jobs. He's the only one that has not sold this country out. The Bushes did it. The Clintons did it, Bush the second did it, Obama did it, Kerry did it, Biden did it. Trump is the only one that stands up for me, you, and the United States worker. Thank you. I love Donald J. Trump. God bless the United States of America. You're watching my president Trump dot US. Thank you. Come to our site, support us, hit that like, hit that subscribe button, come to us, buy our merchandise. Buy some ads on our program. We have to get this message out. We have to defend this president. We have to save American jobs. We have to stop the Chinese from stealing our technology. And the traitors, the Bidens, the Carries, they need to be held responsible. Thank you. I'm Tim. Love you. Love America.